Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, this horrible, horrible gunk called the Black Breath is uh, spewing out of the mountain and making it impossible for us to fulfill Faye's last wish. So now Kratos and Atreus have to go on a journey to the land of the elves, Alfheim. Because they apparently have a way past it. Um, shout out to Gundy's lackey who explained a uh, you know the misunderstanding with the uh, well this. The uh, what do they call it? Ivaldi's anvil. You know the special attack. Uh, apparently that has an upgrade which allows you to do the you know two part attack. And uh, Gundy's lackey simply forgot, because the move comes back in uh, God of War Ragnarok, but with the upgrade uh, enabled by default once you find it. So I understand that. You know, if it's been a while, sure, sure. By all means. You know, Clunk279 also wanted to uh, specify that uh, he only watched the main games, and then read the synopses for the spin-off games, but I still think three ga what, uh, going through three entire games in four days is really impressive. I don't know, maybe all these Let's Plays I've done have uh, completely skewed my perspective on how long it takes to uh, get through the story of a video game. I guess long plays will do that to you. Oh, that was the ability recharging. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry about that, I needed to talk to you. Just give that intro. a turn. There. This is surprisingly safe so far. So you got magic Tears to keep temple you from... is at the center of the lake. Oh. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. So See? True. Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. I mean, I was just going to ask if you use magic to keep your feet from freezing in the snow, but damn. I mean, I would comment on Do You Believe in Ragnarok, except I've already mentioned in this video that the sequel to this game is called God no. of War Ragnarok, so... Talk to the world serpent. You did. An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. I guess you can't exactly write it down, huh? You know, being a giant snake. Can I talk to you, or do you want me to open the door? Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back at all. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Nope, oh, oh, turning me by myself. Are you watching? I am now. Rioste. What? It's solid. Oh, Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait. It won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Huh, I've seen a few of those. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that.
Boy, this is awkward. Both of them just staring at him. You know, the witch fully aware that Kratos himself is in fact a god. Hey, do you know what these say? By the way, while we're all standing Those here? Those runes are of Muspelheim, the Fire Realm. No place for children, even brave ones. Yeah, that sounds about right, actually. What about that over there? Any more information about this? No, I guess he wouldn't, because there's no button. I noticed he was only holding one side of the door open earlier. But, uh, both sides were holding still. Like that, actually. Why didn't the other one close to the middle? Oh, hey! Look who's awake temple. again. Built with help from the giants, Great Tear used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The Risen Dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Hell Reaver. First it was a human Reaver, then we killed it. It died in battle, so shouldn't the Valkyries have taken it to Valhalla? Only if it was a hero. But they didn't, it just came back as something else. Before she died, I overheard Mother telling Father that the Hellwalkers were returning. Is this what she was talking about? People rising from the dead? Father doesn't seem to know or care much about it. Since this thing used to be a Reaver, I'll call them Hell Reavers. Huh. There was a line someone said in the last session, I don't remember where, someone mentioned, uh, you know, what do you think all the dead are coming back? And I don't know, maybe they ran out of room in hell. I feel like that's a reference to, uh, what was it, uh, Night of the Living Dead, the first modern zombie movie. Or was that Dawn of the Dead? Whatever. One, I, one or the other had the marketing tagline, when there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. And what's that other achievement? No, no, that was the same one. I just imagined the other one. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Those stairs. Okay. Uh. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. You know, the, uh, the... God, uh, seeing how huge the, uh, the, the serpent is in the distance. The first time I saw him, every single one of my instincts, and the fact that I was playing a God of War game, told me this is going to be a boss fight, and it's going to be tricky. Is that a dead guy floating in the water over there? It is a dead guy. Oh, float in peace, I guess. Oh, I thought that there was, like, another one beneath the surface, but I think it's just a reflection of that. But yeah, I'm realizing now he's so fucking big, that there's no way that could be a boss fight. We'd have no chance at all. Oh, you meant Axel literally. Like, it's a giant car that slides back and forth. Good. Now push it back into place. Mash that B button. <laughs> Realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. And Atreus just thinks anyone can do this. Okay. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. Holy fucking shit, Kratos. How did I ever think you so were immortal? Then, we heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. By what? Could Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. 
But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. Huh. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. Oh, so it was dragging this behind us so we couldn't walk back over there. Interesting. I guess we probably left the boat floating over that way, huh? I wonder if there used to be a statue standing next to the purple one. What an odd design. Excuse that was impressive. Me. Thank you. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. I feel like Kratos threw his back out once before, and uh, his wife fussed over him to the point where his, uh, Atreus became convinced Through it's a major these problem. Doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build Tear Stump? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Huh. I guess we've rotated to the position. Oh, no, there he is! Holy shit! Yeah, he is way too big to be a proper boss fight. And, I mean, I know, as I suggested earlier, yes, okay, there was a boss fight against the Colossus of Rhodes in God of War 2, but... Where are you even supposed to hit this thing? Like, you know, that guy, it's like, oh, yeah, smash up his hands when he reaches for you. Sure, but... Man, alive. I like your outfit, by the way. It coordinates it itself very well. I think. Triforce. Uh, we're locked in. Where the hell's Brock? Leosa. Your bowstring's left alone. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Oops. Your bow, please. Uh huh. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. I had a feeling it wouldn't be literal. Mess at all of Brock's stuff that he's not here. With us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Well, that probably makes you a friend in his book, let's be honest. I'm not sure this one can be open, all those barnacles and shit along the middle. There we go. Is this it? so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Oh, is that all? The magical bridge that leads to Asgard. Sure, that's going to be really easy. Is that a draw seal? Or like a model of it, surely, because it holds up the world? Well, I hope not, because it's fucking dead in the middle. Colors. Yeah, this is Those ominous. roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots light? are part of the great world tree and make travel between the realms possible. Huh. Approach the table. I don't know much about Yggdrasil itself, just that it's really, really Over fucking here. big and, uh, 
its branches hold up Midgard. Or maybe all of the realms. I don't know. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Hmm. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree. I can dig it. Separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Odin has prevented access to this realm. The travel rune will never work. Dick move. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Surprisingly complicated for magic. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. That was the loading screen image, the uh, Omega with the runes carved into it. Which I liked because it's a combination of Kratos' personal symbol, you know, a Greek letter, with the, uh, the Norse letters of this realm. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Thank you. Now the realm travel bridge will align. And the realm between realms will open. The, the what between realms? The realm between realms? Are we going to, uh... See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. Whoa. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about Holy that one realm shit. traversing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Oh no! Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. But there's one giant left! We met him! Unless the serpent doesn't work. actually count. We're still here. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. So... And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. I do notice everything is purple instead of blue now. And that the lighting is totally different. Um... I like that. Envisioning the Nine Realms not as just different places you can go in the plains, but as alternate dimensions essentially different well, different planes of existence oh those are little people I thought those are hands because I thought these bit at the bottom were fingers bits at the bottom 
So it's like some kind of pilgrimage into the light. Oh, I just got that rainbow bridge, and they all and each of the crystals is a different color. Sure, sure, sure. If I can inter interact with them and get some lines of where they go. Uh, no, I guess not. So I guess uh, that's the door over there, huh? Let's step outside, and I guess we'll call it an episode because the timer is somehow gone again. Nice. Well, it's not filled with, uh, gunk. How is that still here? Oh. Have we transported the temple itself, or does this just exist in all universes now? Because that's really weird. Let me guess. Oh no, that doesn't work at all what I thought. What? Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to go back to uh, the thing through this, but I guess that would be too easy, huh? Embarrassing. I guess Kratos thinks it would be wrong to uh, step into a man's workshop without his permission. Wow. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. It's the light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? Ye. It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <laughs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. No! Oh boy, that was a warning and we didn't get it. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. She did say she would uh, try to come with us. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. So what else is new? Well, we are definitely not in Kansas anymore. She's probably not coming back, is she? Not here. Well, before we set into this ridiculousness, uh, I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. When we set out to explore Alfheim and begin our journey towards the light, so we can fill up this Bifrost here, and, uh... Who's told us to head for that giant light shaft out there? And make our journey possible. Wish me luck. Later!